Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? Hi, Maria Elena. Hi, hello, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. And ready for the class, right? Are you sleepy? Yeah. Are you tired? No way. <laughs> that is not no. possible. <laughs> Okay. That's right. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Ana Cristina. How are you tonight? Hello, Daniel Enrique. Hello, Wendy Xiomara. Alejandra, welcome back. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Good night. Good evening. How are you doing? Are you ready for the class? Also. Yes, teacher, we are, and we are excited to start. Yes, one, two, three, and then let's go, right? Let's go. So now we are going to, um, to start is time, I think, right? Let me see here. Yeah, we have only one more minute. So let's talk something about what we were studying. Do you have any question about the last class? Do you have any question about the last class? Did you watch the video? Vieron el video? I sent a video on the group. Did you watch the video? Aprovechen ahorita para ver ese video. Ok. Aprovechen mientras comenzamos a tomar la asistencia. Ahí lo mandé por el grupo de WhatsApp. It's about the core values. Do you have it? Yes. Ok. Teacher, I have a yes, question. Mm -hmm. uh, be responsible to and be accountable to is the same. A, be responsible to, be accountable to, and also there is another one over there too. But yes, they are the same. Yes, they are the same. Okay. Or, or similar, similar. Similar. Mm -hmm. But I... I I have a difficult for what is the is my job mm -hmm. both. Uh, okay, no. In this case, we are talking about who um, who is your boss. Okay, who is your boss? Mm -hmm. So then is when you use responsible to and accountable to. You uh, you are mm -hmm. um, when they. Uh, ask this question to you when they want to know um, who's your boss or um, what is the position that you have to report to, right? Or the job position that you have to report to, right? The one uh, okay. that you are related as, uh, como diríamos, como subalterno, right? De esa posición. Mm -hmm. Y para, perdón, ya en español. Yeah, para hablar me. sobre los que están abajo, abajo de mí. In charge of. You are in ah, charge okay. of okay. or you are responsible for them, right? You are responsible for 
Okay. Um, and they can tell, they can say that they are responsible to you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Good. Thank you very much, Sylvia, for the question. So now, guys, we're going to take the attendance. Welcome, everybody. Have a good evening. We're going to start our class tonight. This is video conference number three. And we have a topic that it's very interesting and we need to focus, to focus because we don't have any context. No tenemos un contexto anterior para el nuevo tema que viene, okay? Uh, de la estructura gramatical. So uh, we have to focus tonight because it is the base for other modules, okay? And for other structures. So let me take the attendance. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. No, Ana. Ani. No. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Not yet. Astrid. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Presente. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Ok, Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Iván Ernesto Elías. Iván Ernesto Elías. No, not yet, right? Okay, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Okay. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Present. Oh, okay, good. I think it's a handsome boy over mm -hmm. there, right? Okay. Yeah. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Kevin, Antonio, Maria Elena Romero de Galvez, present teacher, Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera, Nancy, aren't you there yet? Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba, Raquel. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Present. Okay. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present. Okay. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. There we are. So we're gonna start just making a little good evening. Good good evening. evening. Hello, <laughs> it was <laughs> Annie, right? Annie? Yes. Okay, no, there you are. Yes. Okay, I'm going to, to check you in. Thank you. Uh, who was there? Who was there? Tell me your name because I can't see you at the moment. Just let me see, let me see. Do you have your camera on? Kevin Antonio, right? Yes. Okay, there you are. So let me. Check you in, guys.
Yeah, this is really important. This is really important. Okay, so here we are. We are going to start uh, with a little feedback. So we're I, I, let me let me share this um, this slides just for doing a little review. Okay, let me go there. Here. It always move. It always move. Okay. Let me put this thing down. Okay. Oh, it's because it is not placed correctly in the, in the behind or in the background. I think there it is better, right? Isn't it? Can you see it? Can you see the slide? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. So let's see, this are kind of questions and answer. This is the best way to, to remember the complete topic in a summary, okay? So let's make this feedback. So we were talking about responsibilities or functions or actions that we have to do in our companies. And also we were talking about uh, the relation between who is my boss and who are my colleagues or my assistants, or maybe I am assistant of someone. So those are relations between departments or maybe between areas or between the colleagues. So that's what we were talking yesterday. Let's read these questions and let's see the use of these phrases. Estas frases no cambian. Así aprendámoslas y así utilicémoslas desde ya. Ok, en nuestro diario, eh, en nuestra práctica diaria. Ok, so let's read the first question and the first answer. So it's a little and a short dialogue, right? Who is responsible for keeping track of the financial records? Who is responsible for keeping track of the financial records? What is the answer? The accounting department is. Ah, miren, esta es la manera de contestar este tipo de preguntas. When they are talking or they are asking who is, then I say the name first and then I say is, okay? I don't say is the accounting department. Porque entonces yo tendría que decir it's, okay? It is the accounting department. In this case, we answer the accounting department, I'm sorry, the accounting department is, the accounting department is. So let's see the next one. Are you responsible for closing the store? Are you responsible for closing the store? No, I'm not. The store manager is. The store manager is. If you see, we have is at the end, right? In this case, if you see, we are using the to be verb. The to be verb. In questions and affirmative and negative sentences. Do you see? Next one. It says, is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? No, she isn't. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. Aquí yo podría haber puesto o podríamos haber respondido exactamente con, las, eh, con la frase que aparece ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, no, she isn't. I am responsible for calling potential clients. Pero para agregar un poquito de vocabulario y que aprendamos y veamos, esta es la forma de decir 
cazar los nuevos clientes, right? Ir por los nuevos clientes. Okay. So, is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? No, she isn't. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. Okay. At the moment, do you have any question about the last topic that it was uh, talking about the functions and the relation between the departments and people in the company? Questions? Eh, question. Uh -huh. Solo una pequeña consulta. No comprendí por qué el is iba al final. Ah, porque si nosotros, o sea, en este caso, the accounting department is it. Ok. The accounting department it. Right. Okay. Por eso va a después. Okay. Right? Como una respuesta corta. Sí, exactamente. Y si hago la oración completa, iría, it's the accounting department. It is, right? The accounting department. Okay. Cambiaría. Yeah. Pero para hacerlo más corto y más fluido, ok, un inglés más fluido, entonces utilizamos esta respuesta. Incluyanlas desde ya. Cuando les preguntan, who is, ustedes pueden responder así. Ok. okay. Thank you. So let's practice this. Everybody, please activate your audio and repeat after me. Who is responsible for keeping track of the financial records? Who is responsible for keeping track of the financial records? The accounting department is. The accounting department is. Okay, let's read the next one. Are you responsible for closing the store? Are you, Are you responsible, responsible for closing the store? store? No, I'm not. The store manager is. No, no I'm not. not. The store is manager is. is. Is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? Is your, is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? clients? No, she isn't. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. No, she no, is responsible for new clients. Ok, para los que están un poquito adelantaditos, eh, me van a disculpar, pero vamos a eh, repetirlo un poquito más lento para que todos agarremos la pronunciación, ok? Who is responsible, everybody? Who is responsible? Who is responsible? For keeping track, for, for keeping, track, keeping track of the financial records, of the, of the financial, financial records. records. The accounting department is. The accounting department is. The accounting department is. Are you responsible for closing the store? Are you responsible for closing the store? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. The store manager is. The store manager is. Is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? Is your boss responsible for calling potential clients? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. I am responsible. I am, I am responsible, responsible for hunting for new clients. For hunting for new, for new, for new clients. clients. Okay, there you are. So now I want to hear Juan, uh, Juan Ramon and Linda, please. The first. Who is responsible for keeping track of the financial records? The accounting department is. Correct. Next one, Raquel and Carla. 
Are you responsible for closing the store? No, I am not. The store manager is. Next one, please, Giovanni and Wendy. I'm sorry, Giovanni Ramirez, because I have it right here in front of me in the screen, that's why. <laughs> is your boy responsible for calling potential clients? No, she is not. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. Excellent, excellent. This is just remembering, just a reminder of the last class. Okay, for us to be clear in this, let's remember, who are you responsible to? Who are you responsible to? I'm responsible to the marketing management. So the manager of marketing is my boss, right? So who are you responsible to? I'm responsible to the marketing management. Okay, everybody, please. Repeat, who are you responsible to? Who, who are, are you responsible, responsible to? to? Okay, now the answer for that question is, I'm responsible to the marketing management. I am, I am responsible, responsible to the marketing management. I'm responsible to the marketing management. Okay, everybody, this word management. 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 Okay. Manage, management. 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 Okay. Management. So we can say the human resources management. We can say the accounting uh, management. Man. If we want to say it like that, it depends if uh, you depend from a whole area. But if you depend of one person, you can also say they uh, position. For example, I can say... <laughs> Directly, right? I'm responsible to the marketing manager, okay? Marketing manager, si es que le doy cuentas a la persona, right? Pero si es en el, a toda el área o yo dependo de esa área, entonces digo así, en general, management. La persona sería manager, okay? El área es management, okay? Management. There you are. Management. Management. Uh -huh. It comes from the verb manage. Okay, manage. So let's read the other question. What are you responsible for? What are you responsible for? So what is your responsibility? Okay, what's your job responsibility? That's what you're asking here. What are you responsible for? Okay, let's see the answer. I'm responsible for visiting corporate clients. I'm responsible for visiting corporate clients. Okay, now, everybody please, what are you responsible for? What are, what you, are, you, are you responsible for? for? I'm responsible for visiting corporate clients. I'm for Okay. Ahora aligeremos un poquito la velocidad para decirlo. Okay. Who are you responsible to? 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 Ahora si nosotros contestáramos, I'm responsible to the marketing management. I am responsible to the marketing management. Great. Okay, now let's read this a little um, faster. What are you responsible for? 
What are what you responsible, are you responsible for? for? What are you responsible, are you responsible, for? Are you responsible for? I'm responsible for visiting corporate clients. I am responsible for visiting corporate clients. Excellent. You did a great job, guys. Okay, so we got it. Okay, we got it. Do you have any question about this? In no. our manuals, I'm sorry. Did you say yes or no? I'm sorry. Questions? No questions. No teacher. Okay. In our manuals, we have other we have other phrases that they are similar to this. Okay, they are similar to this. And what do we have to consider? We have to consider that after the, the preposition for, we are going to use ing verb form. ing verb form. ¿Cómo se llaman los ing verb form? ¿Cómo se llaman? Se llaman los gerunds. Do you remember? Gerunds. 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 Okay, gerunds. Ese es el nombre de esta estructura, de, este, um, de esta forma del verbo. Gerundio, right? Visiting. ING yeah. verb form, they are gerunds. Okay, now. Are we okay with this? Yes? Yes. Okay, everybody please tell me, yes, teacher, because I'm going to feel satisfied to continue, okay? Tell me, yes, teacher, are we are okay, or I'm okay, please. Yes, teacher, are you okay? Yes, teacher, are you okay? I'm Very okay. Yes, teacher, I'm okay. Yes, teacher, are you okay? Nice. Okay, now we are going to talk about the activity. Ah, <laughs> you said, aha, uh -huh, you said, we said already. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Yes, we are going to do it. <laughs> okay. We are going to think about a uh, company name. Okay, vamos a hacer nuestros statements que tenemos pendientes. Solo lo vamos a trabajar ahorita en grupo. Okay. Y el día viernes ustedes lo van a exponer. Okay. Ahora lo vamos a trabajar y el día viernes ustedes van a exponer. Okay, what is the thing here? We have to think about or think of your own company if you want. Pues, en este caso vamos a inventar un nombre, okay, de una compañía. We are going to make this up. Lo vamos a inventar, okay? We are going to write an effective company's mission and vision statements, okay? Effective companies mission and vision statements. What is that? The purpose and direction using the infinitives, right? Then you remember that you have to list three core values that you want that um, rule the behavior of your people in your company, okay? Because this helps to the image of the company, okay? So you are going to present this statement to the class on Friday, okay? Ahora, hay que tomar nota que ustedes se van a presentar en el momento de la exposición, okay? Una exposición de un minuto, okay? No me van a hacer que, uff, vamos a hacer una exposición empresarial y no, ok, bajemos un poquito el nivel de empresarios ahorita para un minuto, un minuto y medio, ok, máximo dos minutos para que puedan ustedes hacer su presentación. En este caso van cuatro personas, si you see A, B, C, D, se reparten perfectamente las actividades, ok, y, um, y empiezan a trabajar en sharing, ok. ¿Qué es lo que tienen que tomar nota al momento de presentarlo? Simplemente ustedes se van a presentar eh, diciendo su posición dentro de esa empresa, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es su cargo en esa empresa? ¿Su responsabilidad? ¿Y de quién depende, verdad? ¿Y de quién depende? ¿Qué es lo que hemos visto hasta el momento? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Esta es la presentación, el saludo, ¿right? 
the greeting when you start your exposition on Friday, you are gonna say, good evening. My name is Lionel Messi and I'm responsible for playing as a forward and leading the Argentina um, national team, okay? There you are. And then I start, uh, the mission of our company is to be the most, uh, the most educated um, people in the country, whatever you want to say, okay? Or for example, we want to be the biggest company or the, we're, we're going to say, to be the best company online, okay? Whatever you want to say, something like that, okay? Use the vocabulary, use the vocabulary of this class. Okay, it's 8.29 right now. We are going to the breakout rooms, okay? Nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y van a trabajar ahorita, pónganse de acuerdo. Ustedes tienen también el grupo de WhatsApp si ustedes quieren, aunque mañana volvemos a trabajar en esto, okay? Mañana volvemos a trabajar en esto, correcto? Correct. Okay. Yes. Ahora vamos a tomar nota de quiénes quedan con quién, ¿ok? De los grupos. Y por el WhatsApp ustedes me ponen ahí para poder hacer la rifa, porque puede ser que solamente al final de cuentas unos dos grupos presenten o tres grupos presenten, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes tienen que estar listos todos, ¿ok? There you are. Yo creo que les va a dar tiempo para todos. Vamos a ver. Porque el día viernes siempre es de práctica. On Fridays, we always practice. Okay. So now, here we are. Eh, ahorita, ¿cuánto tiempo vamos a tener, teacher? Ahorita, unos 15 minutos máximo. Okay. okay. This is simple and use the vocabulary in your manuals. Usen el vocabulario de sus manuales. No vayan a empezar a googlear porque van a encontrar cosas y se van a confundir. Utilicemos tal como lo hemos aprendido, ¿ok? Just let me see because I have 20 here. We have 20, so let's see. And four. Mm -hmm but we have one more group tomorrow. Okay, let's see. We are going to create five groups right now. There we are. Hello, Maria Elena, are you there? Maria Elena, are you having trouble? Karina?
Hello, Karina. Hello, teacher. Uh, es que no, no, se me, no me escuchan, entonces me, me uní del celular. No sé si me uh, puede agregar al grupo, me voy a okay. salir. It was in four, right? There you are. Thank you. Okay. Ejemplo. Uh, come on. At the vision and the mission. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For example, Kidland, eh, Tierra de Niños, eh, podría ser un ejemplo. Eh, Mission, the best kinder of the country. Mission, eh, o oh, eh, en este caso tendría que ser por post. Um, ahí sí tendríamos que ver qué le ponemos. Y number C, a list three core values and a very short application. No sé qué les parece. Sí, pero... Ah, teacher, está teacher aquí. Teacher. Yes, leader, here I am. Leader D. Ajá. Uh -huh. Present the statement. To the class? Yes, it's going to be on what Friday. Day? On Friday, statements. Uh, it's in plural. It's in plural because you have to do a presentation oh. like a short briefing, right? Like a briefing. You are going to present your, um, maybe you could imagine that you are trainers and you are going to uh, do an induction training. Okay, and you are presenting your mission, your vision, your values to the new personnel, something like that, oh, right? Uh, this oh, is only one example. idea. PowerPoint, for example. Okay, that's your creativity. Okay, that's your Do creativity. It. It's not it's not necessary, okay. but if you want to, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. To solve and your position, say you are responsible to and whether to share up. All are teachers in this kinder. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, for example, teacher, yo les decía a los compañeros acerca de un kinder. Okay, you were talking about a kinder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, y sobre eso vamos a, a, a desempeñar con ellos. Ahorita nos vamos a dividir los literales. Okay. Okay. Uh, ahora en nuestro grupo solo hay tres. Se, se salió Karina, no, no la veo. Uh, she told me that she... ¿Se habrá regresado al, al, al donde usted? Yeah, because she, she told me that it was Tenía in the room con su... four. In the room for I'm going to ah. go for her, okay? And then I send you uh, send Karina here, okay? At the moment, I think you were you have an idea, so you were working well. I'm going to another group, okay? If you have any question, please call me. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank there you, you John. There you are. Respectative. Hello, how are you guys? How are you doing? Karina, I'm sorry guys. Uh, Karina, this wasn't your group, right? No. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just sent you to the number four because I asked you, but if you want, I can send you back. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. So yeah, because they asked me to, um, to send you over there. Okay, guys, and what about you? You are only three? Are you only three? 
because we had Maria Elena right there. I don't know if Maria Elena could uh -huh. connect. Okay, so let me let me uh, yeah. check if Maria Elena is going to join to this group or if she is going to another. Okay, because she got disconnected. That was the problem. Okay, se nos desconectó Karina y cayó por acá. Okay, la voy a mandar donde ella estaba trabajando. Okay. Okay. There we are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh, yes. There you are, Karina. Okay. Okay, guys. How are you doing? Como podríamos decir, como dar la mejor expectativa para nuestros clientes. To give? To give the best expectative or what, what, what do you, what is the company? Is the company the, the food fast, the tacos? Fast food. Fast food. Okay, fast food, uh, tacos, Mexican food. Okay, good. Huh. It sounds delicious and more at this time, dinner time. <laughs> okay, great. That's a good idea. So yes, uh, you can talk about the experience instead of the expectatives. You can talk about the experience eating that food, right? Uh, the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give uh, to give the best experience of flavor or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. For all tastes, right? For all tastes. So you have to try to be like poetical or here, right? It's something like poetical to uh, to touch, to touch the will of the people, para tocar la voluntad de la gente que los visite, right? So that's the mission. Um, and for your people, for your personnel, they have to feel that they belong there, right? That they belong there and they are doing that job good or well. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ok, entonces el, el, el nombre sería eh, el que la teacher dijo, Mexican food. Mexican food, es que, es que Mexican empezamos, food. vamos en, en el momento haciendo, el, cambiando los nombres. Oh, okay. <laughs> Corporate Mexican food, right? Something like that, because we are here, right? <laughs> uh huh. Something, something, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> That's my idea, but I want to hear yours. It's your creativity, guys. Okay. Ideas, Alejandra. Ideas, Carla. Ideas, Carlos. Mm. Se llama Dr. Taco, the best Mexican food. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> good. Okay, take note, everyone. Take note and remember that that's your name, right? That's your company name, your company name. So you have to see who is the kitchen manager, who is the um, cleaning or the maintenance personnel, right? Or who is in charge of the management, the financial thing, who is the one who is going to collect the money, right? El cajero, the cashier, something like that. But it's not too big, only one responsibility, general, general. Mm -hmm. Okay. Un organigrama chico para que se haga. Manager. I think that you are doing a good job, so you have the idea now. I'm going to another group, okay? See. Okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. There you are. Pues ahorita intento recordarme lo que dije. 
We are an organization. <laughs> no way, that's not possible. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, everybody thinking, thinking, brainstorm, brainstorm. <laughs> okay, turn on your lights. Let's see, Kevin, Kevin, where are you, Kevin, Kevin? Ah, oh, we have two Kevins here. <laughs> yes. Hey, nice. <laughs> so we have Kevin and, okay. I'm going to say Kevin, Daniel, and Kevin, Antonio. Okay, so now let's see. Kevin, Daniel, ideas, ideas? Eh, yo tengo una visión, pero no sé si qué opinan. Okay, tell we them. Want, okay. We, we want to give the best attention and quickly when you need it at the reach of your hand. Okay, that's, uh, well, I like it. I like it. But instead of want, you can use another, another verb, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Or if it, it is better if you say only um, to give. That that's what you say, right? To give again. The best, the best attention and quickly. La mejor atención y rápido. Ah, okay. But tell me, what's your company name, or what is your product or your service? Eh, al final, ¿cuál dijimos de atención o de soporte o de vender? Oh. Es de vender. Porque de vender este zapatos. que había hecho era por la atención al, al cliente. Lo que habíamos dicho primero. Ah, de servicio. Sorry. De servicio técnico. Ajá, support. Ok, technical support. Yes. yes. Ok. It's a technical support something. And what is the name of the company? Let's imagine a name. Let's create a name. MC Corporation. Which one? BMC Corporation. Okay, it sounds kind of interesting. What is BNC? <laughs> what does BNC stand for? <laughs> what does BNC stand for? I don't know. Something, something, something. Okay, nice, nice. BMC. <laughs> nice, interesting. Like, uh, do you know that Kodak had that problem too? Well, it's not a problem because they just invented the name Kodak, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, It doesn't mean anything, Kodak, but it sounded like uh, technological, something new, something interesting, right? Kodak. But now you are like that, BNC. Okay, now remember, guys, remember that you have to take note of the. ¿Se acuerdan de la tablita en el manual? En, en la tablita para que ustedes vayan viendo si es original, si es concreta, si es. Okay, the, the characteristics in your manual. You have a little table. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, then use that to. Um, to create a, uh, an effective statement, okay? I, I think that you have the idea, so I'm going to another group, okay? Okay. There you are. Let's meet us in the main Thanks. room, okay? La tablita que está en mm -hmm. Hello, Hello, my dear eso para... How are you doing? Uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. What's yeah. your company Hi. name? Eh, eh, ¿Cuál nombre le vamos a poner? Uh, JC Multiservice. Uh, JC Multiservice. 
Okay, good, good. And what is the product or the service that you offer? Uh, productos y servicios. Products. Okay. Different, diverse, diverse. Okay, good, 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 good. And now you have your mission already. Do you have your mission? Our mission is to offer customer products and service quality. Eh, no sé si es al inicio quality o después. <laughs> okay, but you said uh, to offer products and services. Uh -huh. And service. De calidad. Of, of the best quality. quality, right? Of the best quality. Of the best quality. To offer customers quality products and service. Okay, yeah. that's another one. And if you want to go beyond the objective, you could say the, the higher quality, the... Mm, mm, yeah, the higher quality could be, or the most quality products or something like that. This is to be beyond, okay? Para ir más allá, ¿verdad? Y tocar también las fibras de sus, de sus empleados, right? Para que ellos den el todo por el todo para cumplir el objetivo que queremos, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Acuérdense que tienen una tablita ahí en, la, en el manual donde ustedes pueden ir viendo las características de la misión, tiene que ser original, memorable, eh, sucinct, tiene que ser concreta, right? That's a very good one, the one that you said, okay? Okay. okay. Now, do you have the vision already? Do you have the vision yet? Mm. No? Not yet. Uh, aún no, no la hemos estructurado la visión. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to give some, maybe two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to another group. I see that you are doing a good job, okay? Okay, thank you. Let's meet us in the main room when I call you, okay? okay. My pleasure. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Nova. Wow. High quality product. Latin Nova. <laughs> quality product. Quality. Products. Well, we... Con S al final en products. Okay. Porque son varios. Yeah. Sería with. With. F Efficiency. Creo que es. Service. Service. Uh -huh. yeah. Service. Uh, Así sería eficiencia. Efficiency uh, is the general. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, hello, teacher. Okay, this is nice. So uh, efficient, e efficient with a letter T because efficiency is uh, like the noun of the thing, but the action Eficiencia. will be, yeah, exactly. So something or the adjective will be efficient, okay? There efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, Efficiency. Efficient service. 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 To. No, no sería at. 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 Okay. at. at. Yeah. Uh, tipo economic price price sí porque no sé cómo se dice accesibles accessible accessible, accessible. accessible. or affordable it's another good word who said affordable yeah affordable, affordable. prices uh, price 
affordable prices. Prices, uh -huh. prices accessible. Affordable. No, affordable. 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 No, A F. Okay. A F O R D I E L T. Okay, yeah, sorry. Va. R. No, R. R. Yes. What's F? Así, four. Double F. Double F. Borralo todo y lo. Y a price hay que ponerle la S al final porque estamos poniendo precios, no precio. Plural, yes, plural. Uh, Cool. Okay, guys, I see that you are doing a good job, so I'm going to another group. Okay, let's meet us in the main room. Okay, okay. Teacher. okay bye. Thank you, teacher. Recording in progress. Yes, every time we have to be careful about that because if uh, they re uh, the recording stops, then I've got a problem when I have to uh, edit the video, right? To upload it to YouTube, right? It's kind of difficult. So I have to do part one and part two better, right? Instead of editing. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, how are you doing? How was this experience? It was the activity. Nice teacher. Nice, That's right? Activity. Nice teacher. It's very yeah. nice speaking and yeah, sharing with your classmates. Okay, just let me take the attendance and we are going to start with the topic for today, okay? The okay, topic teacher. that I was saying that we don't have a context before, but we are going to try to introduce it, okay? Now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. No Astrid tonight. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. I saw he was here. Right. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Okay. 
Uh, Iván Ernesto Elías. Okay, Daniel. Daniel, I check you in already. Uh -huh. Iván Ernesto Elías. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Present. Noemi Álvarez. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Karina Present. Noemi Álvarez. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Okay. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Okay. I was waiting for that handsome boy already. María Elena Romero de Galvez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. María Elena had this problem that she got disconnected, right? Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Uh, you said Wendy, right? Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Ramón. Uh, Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. I was trying to, okay. And Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Okay, there you are. Okay, now we are going to start with a new topic tonight. We shall start from uh, the manual, okay? We are going to start from the manuals. Okay, first of all, I'm going to share the first um, slide and then we go to the manual. Just let me go there. Okay, here we are. Hey guys, today is July the 7th of uh, 2021. And this is the video conference number three. The topic for today is the passive voice. The passive voice. This is the topic for tonight. And let's see the objective of this class. The objective is that this or you will be able to discuss and write about the reputation of their of your company using the grammatical the structure of the passive of the passive voice. Me ayudan por favor con el cable que, que tiene problemas de audio, por favor para que no esté haciendo interferencia. Thank you. Okay. The agenda, let's check the agenda. At the moment, we did the feedback activity. Okay, we prepare the group's presentation. Okay. We read the class objective already. We are going to try to get some uh, previous knowledge from you. You have to um, get some ideas right now. We are going to do a verbs brainstorming and then we are going to do a short briefing about the passive voice and some reading exercises or examples in this case, okay, examples, because I'm going to send you a, a worksheet for you to check and then tomorrow we are going to complete it or to check it. But let's see, to start, to start. En este momento lo que vamos a comenzar a ver 
es la reputación, cómo es conocida la compañía o una compañía, su compañía, mi compañía, cualquier compañía. ¿Ok? Can someone, can any one of you tell me what is reputation? Do you know what reputation is? Ideas? Reputation. Como es conocido. Uh -huh. Let's try to say that in English. Uh -huh. Uh, um, we what can... is the what is the idea of the company for the all people or the people? Well, in this case, any company, okay, and that's correct. What is the idea that people have about a company? Thank you very much. That's a good good concept of what is reputation. So let's think how the businesses build their reputation. How do you think they do to build their reputation? ¿Cómo hacen las compañías para poder eh, crear o construir su imagen o su reputación? Doing right thing. Okay, doing uh, the right thing or things right? Uh, things right. Okay, very good, very good. So let's think about, is reputation uh, qualified like good or bad, right? So what do you think? What do you think that the businesses try to do to build their reputation or a good reputation. Linda said, doing the things right. Okay, but let's think, let's think, what is that? Pasémoslo al, a las acciones que hace la compañía. ¿Qué sería hacer las cosas correctas? Como dice Linda, as Linda said. What do you think? Uh, practice values. Okay, to practice the values, very good. You can give me examples too, okay? You can give me examples to have an idea. Quality pro products. Good, offer a good quality in their products, right? Or products of good quality. Very good. Mm -hmm. Be honest. To be honest, yes. Not to promise more than, than they can offer, right? Not to promise more that my company can give to you, right? Yeah, you're right, being honest. Mm -hmm. Offer a good price. Okay, offering, offering good prices. Okay. Like competitive, right? Competitive. Mm -hmm. Now, let's think about your own company or the place where you work. What is the reputation of the place you work for? What is the reputation? of the place you work for. I have something here. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What is the reputation of the place you work for? Everybody in the chat, okay? 
Everybody in the chat, please write a sentence. A sentence. Is it good? Do you offer good service or some things like that? Okay, in the chat, everybody. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this time, okay. Up apply apply innovation in this case we are talking about a company is the third person so we have to write applies applies i'm going to write that verb here okay applies um you say innovation right applies innovation because it's third person in this case it applies it applies innovation. De lo contrario, tenemos que usar un infinitivo to apply. Right. Does a lot of people know about your company? that your company exists or is still in a medium, in a medium level or micro level. What size is your, is your company? Is it small company? Is it a medium company? It's a big company? Offer product of the best quality. Good. Excellent, Nancy. Mm -hmm. This is good when I'm going to read that one. It says the quick response to your financial needs. Okay, that's what people or why people know this company. So good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go over there back and let's see 
just one just one more slide okay no i think it's better for us to go to the manual and read the conversation that we have there for you to see the structures how do they use this in a conversation okay now let's let, let me get there vamos a ir al manual Ahí en el manual tenemos una conversación. So we are going to read a conversation. We are going to practice this conversation to see. To see. Okay. This is the conversation to see the structure that we want to introduce tonight. And it says, Daniel and Jessica are talking, okay, about a company. So let's see. So Jessica, what does your company do? What does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great, and are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Acuérdense que a mí me gusta decir El Salvador, right? But now we are going to say in El Salvador. Okay, in El Salvador. Les contaba hace un, un tiempo, algunos de ustedes saben que uh, native speakers, they don't understand, usually they don't understand where El Salvador is or what country is El, Sal El Salvador, like that, without pronunciation. Con esa pronunciación es bien difícil para ellos entenderlo de primera. Entonces, si usted les dice El Salvador, they understand, okay? They understand. So that's why we do that. Por eso lo hacemos así. It's not for our language, it's for their language, okay? So we are going to read it again. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador, okay? Tomémonos el minutito para leerla. Let's take one minute and read it.
Okay, guys, good. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Teacher, mm -hmm. y reco no sé cómo pronunciar, reconic rec recognize. 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 Ok. Ajá. Reconocida, ¿verdad? Teacher, eh, the word, the word, absolutely. Absolutely. It means yes, Ab but in a big way, right? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Y pro produce, produce. Um, uh, línea. produce, 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 yes. produce. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay, people. Now let's see, let's okay. see the letters in bold. The letters in bold. This is the most important thing here. Para poder hablar acerca de la reputación o de la imagen o de cómo es conocida nuestra compañía, tenemos que utilizar una nueva forma del verbo, ¿ok? Yo les envié una listita de verbos que tiene tres columnas. ¿Pueden ver la lista de los verbos? Yes, teacher. Ok, we have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. Irregular verbs... En la listita tienen una letra I con un rojito en los, a la par del verbo que es irregular. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál es un verbo regular? Un verbo regular es el que no cambia. ¿okay? No cambia al conjugarlo en los otros tiempos eh, verbales. Déjenme claro. ubicar acá la para hacerles las anotaciones. Permítanme que ya no me dejó subir. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Regular verbs ends Usually in ed, right? El, fin, el final del verbo que no cambia usualmente cuando pasa al, a la segunda columna, que la segunda columna es el pasado simple del verbo, pasa con ed y usualmente, usualmente, usualmente mantiene la misma forma en el participio usualmente, te estamos diciendo usualmente, ok, oh, okay. Oh. ok, luego tenemos los irregulares, que eso sí cambian su forma completamente, su forma completamente, vale, vamos a dar un ejemplo de un verbo regular. An example will be produce, okay, in this conversation. What is the past participle? Esa es la que vamos a utilizar para poder hablar acerca de la reputación es la columna 3, okay, la tercera columna, donde arriba dice past participle. Past participle. El pasado participio del verbo. Ahorita no se centren en la gramática, ¿ok? Sino que centrémonos en las expresiones, ¿ok? Porque más adelante vamos a seguir viendo esto. Ahorita solo tomemos esta frase muy importante. Is known for. Aquí estoy tratando de explicarles. Esta palabra known, que es el pasado, bueno, estábamos, que es el pasado participio del verbo know. Ok, permítanme, voy a seleccionar, I'm going to select here, and I'm going to write. Ok, ¿tienen este verbo en su listita? Produce. 
Okay, what is the past participle for produce? Of produce. Columna tres. Produce no está. No lo tienen en la listita. No, no está. Ok, yo lo envié en el, en el formato de Word para que ustedes vayan agregando los verbos que no les aparecen. Ok. Porque esa es una lista muy básica. Es una lista bastante básica. Entonces hay verbos que pues pueden estar y no pueden estar. ¿Verdad? Entonces agreguémoslo. Produced. Entonces sería produced. Ok. Con una E de al final. Ok. Produced. Produced. Uh -huh. Produced. Ahora. Ese es solo un ejemplo pequeñito, ¿ok? Para que sepamos de dónde viene ese known. Viene del verbo know, ¿ok? Know. Ese sí lo tienen en la listita, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Ahí lo encuentran en la columna 3. You find it and you can look it up and see. V3, right? The, the column, the third column. In the third column, you have Can you see? It is known, right? Known. Oh. Known. El pasado, ¿cuál era? No. New. No. New. Como decir no. nuevo, ¿ok? Como decir nuevo. New. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. If you see, no, new, known. Ah, entonces tenemos, pongámosle coco a esto porque así lo van a encontrar en algunos libros de texto o eh, cuando ustedes lo busquen, en, si encuentran otra fuente para apoyarse, van a ver, siempre las listas de verbos van a traer estas tres columnas. ¿En dónde? El primero es el infinitivo, es el infinitive. The second one is the past simple. And the third one is the past participle. Usualmente sería ado, eh, ido, right? No, ido, edo, right? Ido, edo. Yeah, ado too, right? So let's see here. Cuando nos referimos al participio, nosotros usualmente decimos la forma tres. Ok. V3 o la forma 3 del verbo. Entonces no, ya sabemos no. que nos referimos al participio. Ok. No. To the participle. Participle. Ok. Uh, After this little or this short and really brief explanation, let's go and see these expressions. Ok. Just let me erase this. Okay. Oops. There you are. If you see here, you are going to find the first, the second, the third, and the fourth expression. Now let's go and do the activity number three. Okay. Let's do the activity. Number three. Number one. People know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. Aquí tenemos que decir nosotros si esta, esta statement o esta oración es falsa o verdadera. Is it true or false? Is it true or false? According to the conversation. According to the conversation. So number one, people know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. True or false? True. 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 Who said true. false and who said true? True. True. Okay. Where can you find it here? Modern designs and quality, right? 
So true. It's very true. Number two, people know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. True or false? True. Okay. Now, number three. Who wants to read number three? People see Rex as prestigious company. Okay, thank you very much. Is it true or is it false? True. 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 Okay. True. Okay, and number four, who wants to read it? People read Rex as well. Of the maybe companies in El Salvador. Okay, oh. is it true false. or false? False. False. false? Okay, it's false because he is, I mean, it is at the top, right? At the top 10. So, yes, it's false. En estas afirmaciones, si ustedes se fijan, estamos usando el verbo presente. And the passive voice that we are studying tonight, we are using only present passive voice. No vamos a utilizar otro tiempo verbal uh, de el auxiliar para hacer esta estructura. Quiero que vayamos a la... Um, tenemos una tablita aquí en la página 16, page 16. Page 16. We have this table. And this table, they are explaining, they are explaining the structure. Okay, the structure. It's kind of the, the grammar structure, but only for the present passive voice. Okay, and it says here how to use the passive voice. How to use the passive voice. And it's sending us to see in the conversation above. And it says, which sentences emphasize the doers of the actions know, recognize, and rate? Aquí tenemos tres acciones. ¿Cuáles son las tres acciones? Las acciones son know, o sea, los verbos, ¿verdad? Recognize and rate. Vamos a ver ahí arriba si las oraciones están enfatizando quién hace la acción. Ok, vamos a ver ahí arriba. Let's go to see here. ¿Quién realiza la acción? Ah, vamos a ver en el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. En el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, ¿quién hace la acción? Miren. People. People. Right? People. Entonces, en estas eh, expresiones, no está enfatizando quién. Right? No está enfatizando quién realiza la acción. Who is doing the action? O en otro caso sería doers. Doers. Quien hace la acción es a doer. Doer. Entonces, we go to see the next thing here. Okay. So, and the number two and the number three. Which one of those, which sentences emphasize the doer or the doers of the actions? The exer or yeah, the exercise two that is the dialogue or the exercise three. Exercise three. ¿En cuál de los dos ejercicios que hicimos antes en esta conversación o en este de true or false hemos o vemos con énfasis quién hace la acción? Marquémoslo ahí con un chequecito. Let's check it. And a little box. 
Exercise two or exercise three? Exercise three. Okay, then check. Okay, you have to check. I'm going to try to like three. this, right? Right? Which sentences emphasize the actions to be known for, to be recognized as, or to be rated as? Exercise two or exercise three? Which one? Two. Two. Okay. Then, Ahorita acabamos de ver entonces que we use the passive voice to emphasize the actions more, more than the doers. It's more important to say the action than to say who is doing that action, okay? It's more important to say the action than the doer, okay? Vamos a ver entonces. Here it says, use the passive voice to emphasize that the actions are more important than the doers. The doers are the subjects. Let's remember the subjects. It could be a person, any person, any animal, any object, okay, and any pronoun, like I, you, we, they, he, she, it, right? Those are subjects, and those are the doers of the actions. Look at the examples and complete the statement below. Let's look at these examples. Carlos Alberto, can you read the first example, please? X is recognized, recognized, as a, recognized as a prestigious company. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, Ana del Carmen, please read the second example. Rex is writing as one of the 10 most prestigious companies. Okay, is rated, is rated. Rated, rated. rated. Ajá, podríamos pronunciar la T o la pronunciamos como así suavemente, rated, rated, okay. Rated. Uh -huh. Entonces, veamos los dos ejemplos. Uh -huh. The words in bold, the words that we have in bold mm -hmm, are to say a sentence in the passive voice, use the verb, what verb? What is this verb? Is the verb? To be. Correct. So let's check what verb we are going to use, we could say, okay? Use the verb be followed by the, what is this verb? This verb form is? Past. Past part. Okay, the past part is simple. Bien redondita, ¿verdad? Ok. There you are. Muy bonito mi círculo. But there you are. Entonces, veamos cuál es la estructura para usar la voz pasiva. Ok, the passive voice. We are always in the present tense. In the present tense. What present? The present of to be verb, right? So let me go here. This is just for you to visualize what we read. 
Esto lo acabamos de leer, pero es para que ustedes lo visualicen de esta manera. ¿Ok? There we are. Just let me remember one thing here. Okay, say it sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we have to see here in the structure? To say a sentence in the passive voice, use the verb to be, obviously in present, okay, plus the past participle, the past participle, okay? This is when we emphasize the actions instead of the doers, okay? No interesa en esto, en estas eh, oraciones o en estas expresiones que nosotros hacemos, no interesa quién está realizando la acción, sino que la acción en sí, okay? Ahora, veamos unos ejemplos. Let's see some examples. ¿Cuál sería el, el contrario de passive voice? The opposite of passive voice. Cuando nos referimos a los doers o cuando le damos la importancia a los doers, estamos utilizando voz activa, active voice, active voice. Okay? These sentences are written in active voice, active voice. Here it is important who is doing the action. Aquí en estas oraciones ustedes están viendo que sí importa quién realiza la acción. Let's read number one. She writes a letter. She writes a letter. Who is writing the letter? She, right? She writes the letter, okay? Who writes the letter? She writes the letter. Now let's see number two. He doesn't paint the wall. He doesn't paint the wall. Who doesn't paint the, the wall? Who doesn't paint the wall? He. Mm -hmm. It's important, the person. Okay, it's important. Más si lo estamos acusando. Hey, él no lo está haciendo, right? It's important to know who. So in this case, number three, let's see. Does Mike, the mechanic, fix your car? Does Mike, the mechanic, fix your car? Okay. It's important who is the mechanic, right? Mike. Now let's see number four. She does your homework. Okay. She does your homework. So you are in trouble, my boy because she is doing your homework, right? She does your homework. Number five, they paint their house. They paint their house, okay? It's important to do it. So now let's go and see what will be the passive voice for this Uh, same sentences, okay? Cambia completamente el orden, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Cambia completamente el orden. The order is different. It says, a letter is written by her. ¿Te acuerdan cuál era el verbo? Write. Past participle is written. Written, okay? 
Now let's see, the wall isn't painted by him. What was the verb in, in the infinitive form? It was paint, past participle, painted, painted. Okay, tell me. Carlos, do you have a question? Uh, great team. Is escribe weird thing or great thing? Thank writing. you very much. Er. Good, good, good. Er. Yes, I see that this is live video conference, right? <laughs> there you are. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. It is written, written. So, all right. Number three Is your car fixed by Mike the mechanic? Is your car fixed by Mike the mechanic? Aquí no importa quién lo hizo. Lo que importaba era que el carro estuviera reparado, right? The object is repair, the action, okay? The action. So we can say, is your car fixed by Mike the mechanic? Okay. En este caso, podríamos incluso no poner quién realiza la acción porque no es importante saberlo, ¿ok? No es importante saberlo. En este preciso caso, pues, tal vez en alguna ocasión podría importar que siempre es Mike, ¿verdad? Como quien dice, mira, ahí, eh, ese carro está arreglado por Mike o por quién, ¿verdad? Podríamos utilizarlo, pero es un caso eh, en, en generalidad, in generalidad, usually we are not going to uh, mention who is doing the action. What is important is the action is done, okay? Then number four, your homework is done by her. Your homework is done by her. Podríamos quitar by her and your homework is done, okay? Your homework is done. Now let's see, their house is painted by them. Their house is painted by them. Podríamos quitar by them y nos queda their house is painted. Okay, voy a quitarlo para que vean y sientan la diferencia y que no hay ningún problema. El significado es el mismo. Okay, no importa quién la is, right? Ok. Podríamos poner by o podríamos no poner. Solo cuando interese en segundo plano quién lo hizo, ok. ¿Verdad? Do you have any question at the moment? No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, now we are going to use this. Uh, just give me one second. This. Y vamos a hacer un brainstorm ahorita. Para que usen la tablita de los verbos y empecemos a familiarizarnos con los participios. Okay. Pueden ingresar a la pantalla. Los que no saben cómo hacerlo, vayan ahí arriba, en donde tienen la barra de herramientas. Hay tres puntitos. Ok. Hay tres puntitos. Bueno, en esos tres puntitos ya, ya, ya los habilité. Ya los habilité a todos. Entonces ustedes se meten a anotar. Si lo tienen en español. Anotar. En inglés sería notations or notes. Something like that. Pueden entrar, a ver, veamos si pueden entrar. Hagan un clic aquí, los que entraron. Okay, there you are. Okay, ahorita vamos a hacer un brainstorm. Ustedes escriben un verbo 
en, de la columna 1 con su respectivo de la columna 3 del pasado participio. Ok. Let's start. ¿Pudieron accesar todos? No, yo no pude. Quiero ver. No, tampoco no. ¿Dónde está mi, como mi, cama, mi imagen? No, solo... No, 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 no está en la imagen. Está arriba en la barra de... Ah, perdón, abajo en la barra de herramientas. En la barra de herramientas por donde tienen chat o algo así. Uh -huh. Oh, espérenme, porque a ustedes les aparece que Carmen, eh, perdón, que Inglés Corporativo está compartiendo pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, por ahí, ustedes arriba en la barra negra, ahí hay un lapicito en donde ustedes le dan clic y comienzan a anotar. Ah, oh. oh, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Ok, there you are. Everybody, please. Okay. Uh -huh. Los que no han encontrado el lapicito está en la barra de herramientas, ahí por donde dice quién está compartiendo la pantalla. En mi caso aparece como View Options. View Options. Me apareció a mí. Luego Annotate. Annotate. Ok, good. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Y después eh, la T de text para escribir. Yes, because you can use also uh, draw, right? Pueden utilizar dibujar también. Si no, si no le hacen en text. Good. Excellent, Selena. Uh -huh. Have. Oh, my God, that kill was like. Oh, tan 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 tan, right? Or tan 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 tan. <laughs> okay. Have you seen Matilda? Have you seen the movie Matilda? Okay, something like that. Kill, right? <laughs> okay, this was kind of horror. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there you are, there you are. Okay. I know, mucho pues. <laughs> okay, now that you wrote uh, killed, uh, just add a D. Killed. Uh huh. The letter E D only. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> people, you are doing a good job. You are doing a good job here. Thank you. 
Okay, now uh, allow me to read all of them, okay? So let's see. Answer. Answer. Oh, let me select this to, to do it well. Okay. Answer. Answered. Answered. Everybody, please. Answer. Answered. Repeat after me. Answer. 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 Uh -huh. Esta ED tiene una pronunciación como una D. En otras, por ejemplo, los que terminan en la letra K, ¿verdad? que es una palabra, una letra explosiva, ask, que no tiene voz, ¿verdad? sino que solo es el sonido, la vamos a pronunciar como una T. Ask, asked, asked. ¿Ok? Okay. This verb is very interesting. This verb is very interesting. Porque en este, si se fijan, no cambia la escritura, ¿verdad? Quizás es el único verbo que no cambia la escritura, pero sí cambia la pronunciación. Okay. Read, read. Read, read. Okay. Now, eat, eaten, eaten, okay? Eaten, only letter T with the N, como que la E no la pronunciáramos. Eaten, eaten, okay? You. Attendant. Help, helped. I'm sorry? Oh, thank you, yes, we have to do it. But just let me finish because this is going to be the last activity for today, okay? Use, used. You see, use, used. Meet, met. Meet, met. Meet, met. Understand, understood. Play, played. Here we have some more. Study. Studied. Try, tried. Have, had. Tell, told. Work, worked. Make, made. Okay. Rent, rented. Rent, rented. Like, liked. Okay. Okay, guys, it's only two minutes to 10 right now. Just give me one moment. Hicimos un gran trabajo y lo voy a tener que borrar ahorita para ya pasarme para el final. Okay. Let's see. Thank you very much, everybody, for participating in this written activity. It's very important for us to memorize. Utilicemos la memoria para recordar el pasado participio. De lo contrario, vamos a estar en problemas a la hora de hacer la estructura. Okay. Si no sabemos el pasado participio, nos va a costar hacer la estructura. Acuérdense, ¿cuál era la estructura de la passive voice? Verb to be. Plus past participle. Ok, plus the past participle. Así es la uh, passive voice. Passive voice. Ok. I'm going to take the attendance at this moment and I'm going to do it kind of fast, okay? Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavaria Flores. Present teacher. 
Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present Present Ok, thank you. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Present. Alexander, ok. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Ok, thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Iván Ernesto Elías. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Kevin Present. Antonio is here. Okay. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. When... Okay, no problem, Suleima, no problem. Thank Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. There we are. Por favor, eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, déjenla por el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? El día de hoy le toca a... ¿A quién le toca? Ok. Y por favor, no, no faltemos, no faltemos a las videoconferencias porque esta asistencia es sumamente indispensable para que sean aprobados. Vamos a ver, Ana Cristina le toca hoy. Ana Cristina, are you there? Ok, se queda, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Entonces, cualquier cosa ustedes me ponen en el WhatsApp. Vean el video acerca de Core Values para practicar el vocabulario. Ok, y les iba a enviar la worksheet, pero creo que mejor la hacemos mañana acá, ok. La worksheet, uh, una hoja de trabajo para, para practicar la passive voice. Well, incluso creo que sí, la voy a enviar y, y luego la hacemos acá también, ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Then everybody have a good night and let's meet us tomorrow. Good night. Good Alejandra, you're still there? Are you still there? Okay, there you are. Okay, how are you doing, Ana Cristina? Hello. How are you doing? How do you feel? Okay, okay. How do you feel? Do you have questions? 
sí no entendí la estructura de las oraciones de la, de la, la parte última antes de que pasáramos a la pizarra. Ah, ok. Vamos a verla. Ok. Ahorita se la comparto para que veamos. Ok. Ok. Esta, this one, is the active voice. Ok. Esta es la voz activa. And the active voice, it's important to see who is doing the action. Es sumamente importante. Y se escribe el verbo tal y como se conjuga en el tiempo presente. ¿Verdad? Aquí no utilizamos okay. ningún otro auxiliar, solamente para los negativos utilizamos eh, doesn't or don't, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Pero esta es activa, activa. La persona hace una acción, el animal hace una acción, el objeto realiza una acción, ¿ok? So the okay. subject is the doer. Doer es como el hacedor, ¿ok? Doer, el que hace la acción. Ahora, para decir cuando es más importante la acción, ¿verdad? vamos a cambiar el orden. ¿verdad? Así como en español, just like in Spanish, the passive voice. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Lo voy a hacer en esta misma para que usted mire la diferencia. Ok. I'm going to add. Yo no me perdí porque como lo cambiaba nada más, no veía la diferencia. Exacto. Este que lo pasando. Pasando. Ok. <ríe> Bien. Entonces, she writes a letter, active voice. Now, ¿cuál es el objeto aquí? ¿Verdad? ¿Y cuál es la acción? El objeto es the letter. Ok. Letter. Utilizamos cuál estructura? To be plus past participle, ¿verdad? Is, porque es un objeto, es it. It is, so letter is. Y ahora usamos el pasado participio del verbo. Letter is written. Letter is written. Y ahora podríamos decir quién la escribió pero no, no es tan necesario y podríamos prescindir de decir by whom, ¿ok? Porque aquí tendría que ser ya arreglado a letter, ¿verdad? A, I'm sorry. a letter is written. ¿Quién la escribió? She. She. Entonces pasamos... a otro pronombre, ¿ok? Que es un pronombre de objeto, ¿ok? Object pronoun, que sería her. Eso lo voy a explicar mañana, porque ahorita solo hice la estructura así para que ustedes pudieran entender, el, el introducirlo, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahora, esta es la estructura gramatical que usted va a usar. To be, past participle. Okay. To be. And past participle. Aquí no es importante que ella lo escribió, ¿ok? En esta. Lo que es importante es que la carta se escribió, ¿verdad? A letter is okay. written. A letter is written. Podríamos poner igual como le digo, by her, aunque no es necesario. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces, digamos que la siguiente nos quedaría. Ajá. Uh -huh. She doesn't pay the word. Uh -huh. Sería word. Exactly. The wall is. Como es negativa, is, tiene que ser el verbo también en negativo. Negativo. It's not. Excellent. Pero como queremos hablar fluido, usamos contracción. Isn't. Isn't. Dicen 
define se diría uh, I define no está aquí <risa> no está ahí pero podríamos decir eh, en el ejemplo que les puse ahí se los puse Painted. yo exactly painted Mm -hmm. The wall isn't painted. Es importante que no lo pintó él. Mm. No. En este caso, no. Simplemente no se pintó la pared, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. the wall isn't painted. The wall isn't painted. Okay. So now the city, uh... Ahora en una pregunta. Uh -huh. Does my dimensional picture card? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo usamos el verbo to be? Ahí no lo voy a identificar si fix es el verbo. Uh, sí, fix es el verbo. Uh -huh. Fix. ¿Cuál es el objeto acá que debe ser arreglado? El carro. Ok, then. Car. Your car sería el objeto. Pero como tenemos que usar el to be y es una pregunta... En la pregunta, ¿se acuerda cómo hacíamos los, las preguntas con el verbo to be? Pasamos is al principio, is. ¿verdad? Ok. Is your... Digamos que yo aquí no estoy respondiendo, sino que estoy convirtiendo la misma oración con el tiempo. Ok. Exacto. Transformando de activa a pasiva. Ok, esa parte no, no había comprendido. Ok. Entonces aquí voy a decir X. Is fix. Is fix. Quiero ver. Aquí comenzamos, mire, Ana Cristina. Is your car. ¿Cuál sería el pasado participio de fix? Fix it. Ok. Then, fixed. Y ahí cerramos. Okay. Y que es más fácil todavía. Is your car fixed? Así ah, de fácil. Eh, me refiero a, a corto, a, a abreviado, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? No decir tantas palabras, right? So, is your car fixed? Okay. Tiene su uso, ¿verdad? Tiene su uso. Esto, eh, ahorita estamos aprendiendo la estructura gramatical. Luego vamos a verlo en el contexto. Ya lo empezamos a ver en el contexto cuando hablamos de la reputación de la compañía, ¿verdad? Eh, no es importante decir gente porque ya se sabe. Es obvio que la gente es la que está hablando. La gente es la que conoce. La gente es la que dice. Mis clientes son los que hablan. O sea, ya, ya se sabe. No es necesario decirlo. Entonces, en, eso, en ese caso es que se usa la voz pasiva porque es más importante la reputación que se tiene o las, los adjetivos o las cosas que se van a decir de la compañía que lo que la gente diga. Ok, ok, perdón, okay. que es la gente la que lo dice. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. ok. Creo que hoy sí ya me quedó claro. Porque Hagamos yo pensé que íbamos a, a responder. Ah, es no, que no. Tenemos que convertir. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Sería. Para eh, contestarla, usted va a contestar igual con el verbo to be. No, it isn't. Ok. Or, yes, it is. Va a contestar siempre con el verbo to be. Aquí lo, la estructura que se sigue es la de el to be. ¿Verdad? Eh, Esa es la que se conjuga y, y la del participio no va a cambiar. Va a ser participio siempre. ¿verdad? La respuesta siempre va a ser igual. La respuesta siempre va a ser yes, it is fixed en, en, en participio o no, it isn't fixed. ¿Verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Veamos la número cuatro. 
Ah, está en la 5. Sí, Tiene cinco. Ok. Uh, ah, perdón, no, no, había, no había visto la cuatro. Ah, uh, ok. Entonces dice, she does your homework. Uh -huh. uh, Which one, one is the verb? Homework. No, ese es das. el objeto. Ese es sí, el objeto. Das. Uh -huh. das. Das, exactly. Das sería el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Porque ahí está conjugado, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo? El verbo es do, ¿verdad? El verbo es do y das. ¿Cuál es el participio de do y das? Hay un solo participio para los dos, ¿ok? Ahí creo que lo tiene en la listita. Busque en la letra D. It is past. En la columna 3. En la columna 3. Sería done. Done, exactly. Ese es el participio, ¿verdad? Done. Entonces, vamos a cambiar el orden de... La, la de la oración, ¿verdad? El objeto pasa a ser sujeto. Entonces, sería. ¿Cómo iniciaríamos? Aquí sería das. Así um, como en la primera. Um, exactly. Is done. Is done. Is done. Okay. Correct. There you are. Ahí podríamos decir quién hace esa tarea, ¿verdad? Puede ser by her. Okay. Aunque no es importante decir quién en este caso porque estamos usando el active voice. I'm sorry, el passive voice. Okay. Y pues, si la última queja. Uh -huh. They buy. El verbo es, es paint. Paint, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, y la acción es. The house. House. Exactly. Their house. Uh -huh. uh, is no. uh, only one thing. It's uh, it's singular. Is is they? Pero they era el sujeto en la en la activa. Ahora nuestro sujeto es la casa de ellos, la casa, ok, es okay. is, ok, is painted, painted, correct, there you are Ana Cristina, okay. you got it, excellent, I see that now you understand, right, is there any other thing that you don't understand here, that I can help you with? Si sí, entendí, no sé cómo decirle. Yes. Ok, I, I did it, I did it. Uh, o puede decir, yes, uh, porque ahí leyó usted understood, ¿verdad? Understood. O puede decir, I am ok. I, I am ok. okay. Ajá. I am ok. Es cierto, I am ok now. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because now you understand. Yes. Thank God we did it, ok. So then in this case, I think we are done. And si no hay otra cosa en que le pueda ayudar, I think we have to say goodbye. <laughs> okay, have a good, good night, Ana Cristina. Good night, good night. Good night, have a good night. Thank Bye. you. My pleasure. <laughs>